Hey everybody, I'm Ken Brandt and I'm an artist. In this video I'm going to show you how I painted this painting. The idea behind this was I was looking for something to paint that had a very classical look to it but also had a contemporary theme and nothing is truly more American iconic than the Twinkie. Uh, the important thing here was to make sure that I got the colors of the Twinkie correct because I at no point does anything on the painting say that these are Twinkies and in the title of this painting which I titled Decay and Perpetuity it does not mention Twinkies so it was very important that I got the colors correct so that when you looked at this painting you knew exactly what it was you were looking at and um, supposedly the Twinkie does not rot I have never seen a rotten Twinkie so I would have to tend to believe that that is true so that was the whole idea behind this painting and I hope you enjoy watching uh, the process that I went through to make this if you are interested in any of my works um, they are available at my website at www.kennethbrandt.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram, and you can just search uh, by my name, Kenneth Brandt Fine Art, and you can find me that way. So uh, if you uh, enjoy this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. So I started with the background on this painting and I was looking at the colors of the Twinkies. They're kind of like a yellowish orange color and same with the um, fabric that I have covering the uh, platform that the skull and Twinkies are sitting on. That's like a golden yellowish color. So for the background, I figured a complementary color to those would be purple. So I mixed purple in with raw umber and that gave me the dark background that I was looking for to kind of give it that classical feeling to the painting. I wanted it a very dark uh, background, some dark shadows, and things kind of coming, you know, getting lighter as it came to the forefront of the painting. So for the skull, there the skull, I mean the skull is primarily white, but those aren't the colors that I see when I'm looking at my setup. Um, yeah, I do see some white, but it's like an off-white, it's not like an actual white-white. And there's a lot of blue, bluish grays in the shadow. There was uh, a lot of um, browns that I saw coming through in the skull, so I wanted to make sure that those colors were incorporated in my painting. And never be afraid to just pop colors in. I mean, sometimes just a splash of red here or there can just really make the biggest difference on something, even though in reality those colors may not be the primary color of that object that you're painting but if you see a small color a glimpse of you know purple or blue or something that's uh, sitting on the object that you're painting then make sure you put it in there because a lot of times that can make the difference uh, between a good painting or a great painting it, surprisingly sometimes it's it's in the details so on the skull, I wanted to make sure that I, I had a lot of those colors incorporated there. And then working on the fabric of the um, platform that I had this sitting on, I really was uh, excited in trying to paint this because it's a kind of satiny look to it. And I wanted to make sure that I could kind of incorporate that look in my painting. I didn't want it to look like a flat type of fabric. I, I wanted that shine to come through. And there's a lot of colors reflecting off of the objects above it, the skull and the Twinkies, that I could see in that fabric that I also wanted to make sure I had come through on this as well. So I wanted, you know, I paid close attention to those and uh, played around with it and I, I really feel that I got the look that I was looking for on that. It, it came out really nice. So a lot of this color here that I'm using is um, yellow ochre. Uh, I got some uh, burnt sienna in there. 
and for the darker colors that's uh, raw umber and some uh, Payne's gray and some burnt sienna all mixed together and that really worked out well I thought for the color of that a lot of times when you're painting something that's gold you never ever usually really use the color gold when you're painting you, you come up with it with just various uh, splashes of yellow ochre Indian yellow and cadmium yellow and together they make the appearance of gold. So here I'm working on the Twinkies. The uh, Twinkie, like I said I, at the beginning, I, it was very important that I got that color correct. So what I did was um, I did take a photograph of my setup and I put a plastic sleeve over the picture and I was taking color splashes of you know my mixes and I was putting it on the picture and seeing how close I was actually getting to the color of the Twinkie. So I got it really close to, to the actual um, color and it worked out really well. And uh, that was important to me because you want it to look like a Twinkie and not like something different. You know, you can make, if you make those sponge cakes any other color, it's just no longer a Twinkie. And the highlight the focal point, it, it really was the white cream in the center of those Twinkies. So I want to make sure that was the brightest white in the whole painting. Um, the color, the white that I used for the skull is a warm titanium. It actually comes in the tube as a, oh, it's called warm titanium. And uh, that worked out really well for the, for the skull. And I went with straight white titanium for the cream center of the Twinkie. So that really made it pop. And here I am uh, working the details on the skull. I wanted to make sure that I got the, uh, the little nooks and crannies and crevices of the skull incorporated in the painting. Uh, this skull is, is just, uh, you'll see it in the setup here, it's not a real skull. It's one, a plastic one I picked up. I think I picked it up at Walmart for three bucks during Halloween. But when I paint it, I can make it look very realistic. So for three bucks, it was a great investment. So putting in the, all these little shadows and the nooks and crannies, that, that's real important to, to give that realistic look to the skull. And I wanted to make sure that the skull kind of melded into the background. So it kind of like like it's popping out from the shadows. Same with the twink, uh, the, the the broken twinkies on the on the table. I wanted to make sure that those kind of were like you know the, those are I use soft edges on the back of those. I use the soft edges on the um, right hand side of the skull that that's uh, up against the background. So it kind of kind of likes it, like it's appearing, and that was the effect I was looking for. So you can see here what I did, I took um, yellow ochre and that warm titanium and I mixed that together and I used that for the highlights on my fabric uh, of the table that uh, I had and that really gave that satiny look to it. But you had to make sure that, you know, that I blended those edges of the highlight and make sure they blended into the darker colors around it so it didn't look like you know, those aren't they're definitely not hard edges because it was like that's not what I was seeing when I was looking at the, the table so I wanted to make sure I, I had it exactly the same for my setup whenever you're doing a skull it's always important never when you're putting the teeth in there don't put each individual tooth because then it just kind of looks funny. So those teeth, um, from where from where we're looking at it in the video here, you can see individual teeth, but they're really not. I mean, there's uh, broken lines in between the, the teeth, and it's really just shadow, um, different colors, of, you know, using the shading in there to kind of give the impression that there are individual teeth, but that's not actually the case in the painting. So if you get a real up close look at it, it's just a bunch of colors with some broken lines in between. And here you can see where I'm working on the, you can see like in front of the Twinkie on the table, there's like this yellow, a brighter yellowish color that appeared, you know, on the broken half there on the table. And I wanted to make sure that that was in there. I do not know 
where the red was coming from on my setup on that table, but I saw it and it, and it looks great in this painting, so I wanted to make sure that was in there. So it's just a matter of just going over the colors and you know blending the shadows together so they don't look you know separate. You know everything kind of blends together so it's all in like one one continuous piece. And that really gave the, a nice look to it. And I was very happy the way this came out. And this is called Decay and Perpetuity. And um, I'm going to do continue doing this uh, American Icon uh, paintings uh, along this line with a classic look, but with a contemporary subject matter. And uh, put a couple of those together, and I think that'll be a great series. So again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe.